Hey you, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. As you can see by the title of this video, this is my DIY patio furniture made from cinder blocks, 4x4s, and I have a few 2x2s for string lights. Here I am just setting up the cinder blocks how I would like for them to be positioned um, for the particular sectional that I am creating. Here is the paint I use to spray my, my bricks. I use a total of five cans. I only sprayed the sides that will be visible. Here, after the paint dried, I actually went in with liquid nails to secure them one to the other. Here's the final setup for the particular sectional, again, that I chose to make. My measurements are 72 inches long on both the couch as well as the sectional, and four. 24 inches deep in terms of sitting space here i'm just showing you how i sand the four by fours each one is different the wood as you know is unique uh, to the tree and the portion it was cut from so there were parts that i needed to sand down here is the stain i use i'm just going to give you uh, an example of how i stained the wood um, be it that i had a total of eight foot four by fours and two 12 foot four by fours. I had a total of 10 um, four by fours sustain as well as the two by twos that were for the string lights, which I used for those. So it was quite a bit of sanding and staining to be honest. With this project, you have the ability to cut your wood down per the length you desire. So um, if you wanted something smaller for your space, you can go with an eight foot four by four and have it trimmed. Once you do the fitting, which you saw uh, I did earlier, just to kind of see what kind of space you have. Uh, be sure to measure. This is uh, not a hard project. Again, if you purchased uh, some wood, you can always trim it down. You just can't add it back. So just be sure to uh, do a fitting and get your measurements to see what you would like for your space. So here's the wood as I begin to put the 4x4s inside of the cinder blocks. It is turning out so great, guys. I absolutely loved it, and I know that it's totally worth all the elbow grease that I had to put into this project. Okay, so here I am just showing you the quick crete I use uh, this brand here. Let's see, that brand there. And I use half of this bag for this bucket that I got from the Dollar Tree. This is a two by four inch pole and it's gonna be used for holding my lights. And so when I tell you it's, it's like standing on its own supporting itself and it hadn't even been three minutes that's pretty cool so i'm excited to see how it holds up i am going to clean the bucket off and put some plants to cover that up so it's not unsightly as it is now but so far so good if you're interested to see how i style this project as well as this space please look out for my next video until next time guys thank you so much for stopping by the channel god bless you may he continue to richly increase you and add to you and your family blessings